Hello everyone, I received this comment today on a video that I made a while back featuring Dr. Judith Curry, and I just thought I would share my answer with everyone because I thought it might prove useful to a number of viewers. So a viewer identifying himself as David popped into my comment section today and said this, You people are a joke. Dr. Curry is a real scientist. As is my custom, I invited this commenter to provide evidence in support of his position, and he replied with this comment. He said, Ice core data is the easiest, but the corruption already demonstrably proven by Dr. Curry is what's most damning. Your side just uses the ad populum argumentum logical fallacy. When the majority of people believed the world was flat, that didn't make it so. Now, it would appear that David is attempting to dismiss the evidence indicating that human activity is primarily responsible for global warming based on the simple fact that the vast majority of scientists agree that human activity is responsible for global warming. David's points about the ad populum fallacy and his reminder that most scientists at one point in time believed that the Earth was flat are well taken. For those of you not familiar with the term, an argumentum ad populum or a populum fallacy is a fallacious argument asserting that a claim must be true because many people believe it, relying on popular opinion and emotion rather than evidence. However, I would remind everyone that there is an abundance of evidence supporting the consensus position on anthropogenic global warming, and this evidence tends to be more reviewed than most scientific research because it passes the initial peer review process, but then it tends to be re-examined every five to seven years by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The sixth assessment cycle concluded in 2023 and the seventh assessment cycle is now underway. These comprehensive reports synthesize the latest climate science in an effort to inform global policy. I would remind everyone that the study of climate change, along with the study of the brain, the universe and the human genome, is one of the most studied phenomena on Earth and evidence supporting anthropogenic climate change has been gathered and studied for more than a century. Now, going back to the ad populum fallacy, I would remind everyone that today, most scientists believe that the Earth is round, and I would assume that our friend David would not attempt to argue that the world must be flat simply because most scientists believe the Earth is round. I would also take this opportunity to point out that Dr. Judith Curry has not published any peer-reviewed research that contradicts anthropogenic global warming. While Dr. Curry has certainly expressed views wherein she questions both the extent that human activity impacts the climate, as well as the reliability of climate models, Dr. Curry does indeed acknowledge that human activity is causing the planet to warm. Finally, I would remind everyone that climate contrarians are not only losing in courts of law, where lying is a criminal offense, and where even the oil companies themselves fully concede to the scientific consensus on anthropogenic global warming. But these contrarians are also losing in the court of time. You see, as more time passes, the evidence that the Earth is rapidly warming just increases as does the scientific consensus around the position that human activity, primarily through the burning of hydrocarbons, is causing that warming to occur. As always, I appreciate the thoughtful and respectful engagement of skeptics, and I fully encourage everyone to educate themselves as much as possible about the issues of global warming and climate change. I'm Art Lightstone, your green neighbor, asking you to keep thinking, keep learning, Keep asking questions and take good care.